Hi. Um, welcome to, yeah, you can be seated. Um, welcome, Academy student body and staff and guests uh, to the 2011 induction of the Fairfield Christian Academy National Honor and National Junior Honor Societies. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this great student body and their families and guests that are gathered with us. We know that you are here as we honor those students who have so well used the talents that you have given them. We thank you that we even have a chance to recognize these students who have striven for excellence in their studies and in their communities. Bless this time that we have together and unite us as we celebrate the outstanding achievements of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we praise you in your blessed name. Amen. Good afternoon to everybody. I think I needed to make that song go a little longer. We get bigger every year, which is exciting. Um, as I was in the hallway today, I ran across Mr. Hooper, who, in only Mr. Hooper sheepishly, with a twinkle in his eye way, um, looked at me and said, gosh, isn't it nice for all the kids to dress up on the first day of boys' basketball practice? And I looked at Roger and I said, hmm, I'm thinking it's a little bit more than that. But as I walked away, and we were down by the gym, and I walked by the photographs on the wall of the kids who, um, we had a little competition of photography one, advanced photography, and, and it just struck me, what a wonderfully amazing amount of venues that we have. We do have the athletics, and we have the academics, and we have our fine arts kids, and I look out here and I look at our visual media kids, and I'm thinking, what a wonderful, talented group of kids that we we are part of and so I am so pleased that you are here to cheer on and I thank you as they were coming in that was certainly appropriate to cheer on the kids as you would at a basketball game um, so that being said I get to explain to you a little bit about National Honor Society the National Honor Society is an honorary society for students in grades 10 through 12 which was founded in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals, which directs the program. The society has prided itself on discovering students with exceptional qualities. Its objective is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, which our kids do, to promote leadership, and to develop character in the students of secondary schools. In 1929, this objective was expanded to include the younger students, and at that time, the National Junior Honor Society was established to encourage citizenship in the younger student. Each chapter follows the national organization's purposes, which center on four areas. Scholarship, which is showing forth pride in the pursuit of knowledge. Service, which involves showing concern for each other, the community, the nation and the world. Leadership, which requires having a willingness to accept responsibility, to participate in bettering what is and what will be by working with others. And finally, character, which encompasses looking within to explore and evaluate personal goals and commitments. And citizenship is an essential part of character. The FCA School Board has established and approved the three-part selection process that the students that are being inducted today have undergone. Phase one requires that the students have a minimum cumulative GPA and meet attendance requirements. For the National Junior Honor Society, that GPA is 3.5. For the Honor Society, the GPA is 3.5 for a sophomore, 3.25 for a junior, and 3.25 for a senior. The second phase of the selection process involves the completion of an information profile listing school and community involvement, leadership, service, and a personal essay, as well as recommendations from two adult community leaders. Students are awarded points for their participation, and those students earning enough points then move into the third phase, which is the verification of that involvement and approval of the faculty council. I might add that CECL is a 
big part of our kids ensuring that they have community service hours. I hear it over and over again from college representatives. They are amazed at how many community service hours our kids as seniors have on their applications. And I, I am just very pleased that we have that organization within the Bible program to help stimulate that within our kids. Selection to the National Honor Society and the National Junior Honor so Society is an honor that is esteemed by many colleges and universities and is looked upon with utmost respect. On the table over here, there's a center candle, which represents our relationship with the Lord. Surrounding this center candle are four candles that represent the four qualities exemplified in a National Honor Society, National Junior Honor Society member. Those qualities of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Those are all qualities demonstrated by our Lord Jesus Christ and whom and without whom those qualities have very little meaning. At this time, I would like to invite Anna Kraft, our 2011 NHS president, to the podium, and she's going to share the first quality of scholarship. Thank you. Good afternoon. As a member of the Fairfield Christian Academy Honor Society, it is my privilege to share with you the four, one of the four qualities that are held in high esteem by our society, scholarship. Proverbs 16:16 16, 16 says, how much better it is to get wisdom than gold and to choose understanding rather than silver. The information we acquire today shall be immensely valuable to us in the future. Since God values the attaining of wisdom and knowledge to this extent, we should also. Scholarship requires a commitment to learning. Knowledge is an important element in life which can lead to great success and can only be obtained in one way, through diligence, persistence, and effort. The student who is willing to spend time reading and studying will realize that the benefits far outweigh the sacrifice. Candidates must continually work to expand their world and touch lives for Christ through the opportunities available through them, to them through scholarship. At this time, I would like to welcome NHS Vice President Alyssa Green to the podium and turn the podium over to her. Our next quality is service, and it can be described in various ways. In the routine of a day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. The willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without compensations or recognition is a quality we seek in our membership. Christ also sought this in his followers. Philippians 2, verses 3 and 4, Paul writes that we are to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Look out not only for your own interests, but also the interests of others. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities for the creations of a better school, church, and community. At this time, I would like to introduce Nathan Sharp, NHS Secretary, and invite him to come to the podium. Leadership is the third quality valued in the National Honor Society. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, do not follow where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or country, they are, they are ineffective without the guidance of a wise leader. Where there is no vision, the people perish, Proverbs 29, 18. God appoints those to leadership who seek after his heart to lead his people, but this leadership comes with a price a sacrifice of personal wants and desires for those of others. Jesus Christ, our Savior, defined and demonstrated this leadership when he put the souls of his people above the value of his own life. Mark 10 says, And whosoever of you will be chiefest shall be servant of all, for even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. As Christians, we strive to be like Christ. And in the Fairfield Christian Academy chapter, of the National Honor Society. We honor Christ-like leadership to others. At this time, I would like to welcome Katie Lehman, NHS 
treasure to the podium to talk about character. The last of the four qualities is character. Character plays a very important role in the National Honor Society. It distinguishes the individual from the crowd. Without character, one does not respect oneself or those around him. Character is something that is developed and not received. Character is the product of striving each day to make the right choices. Character is being what you claim to be and not changing your course when things become difficult. Character recognizes when wrongs have been committed, seeks forgiveness readily, and presses on to be more Christ-like in relationships with others. Christ is the ultimate example of character. He said that all men who wanted to follow him must pick up their cross daily and follow him. He did not back down when he was rejected. He is what our character should be, more, should be compared to and the character we work toward becoming more like. Good afternoon. It's my honor to present the 2011 Fearful Christian Academy National Honor Society members. Uh, before we get uh, going, uh, parents, if you want to get up and move about and take a picture, you may. But also, I want to let you know that Mr. Hawks is here taking pictures, and they're available on his website. And also, our media team, as you can see, is filming this, and we're uh, putting on a DVD, and uh, that'll be available for you also. Okay, students, are you ready? Okay, is your name be, is called? Come forward. You get pinned and get your certificate. Kristen Albert, will be pinned by Tasha Huffman. William Dane Alexander will be pinned by Jeremy Hall. Maggie Arledge will be pinned by Taylor Clark Truesdale. Jonathan Bovin will be pinned by Alex Carroll. Jordan Brake will be pinned by Jesse Brake. Tiffany Campbell will be pinned by Megan Kahn. Stephen Carpenter will be pinned by Kirsten DeWeese. <laughs> 
Joshua Coleman will be pinned by Andrew Lindell. Craig Collins Jr. will be pinned by Isaac Lockwood. Sarah Crum will be pinned by Alex Durkin. Madison Ely will be pinned by Lauren Ralph. Austin Green will be pinned by Alyssa Green. Casey Hill will be pinned by Michaela Bethel. Sarah Morton will be pinned by Taylor Clark Truesdale. Austin Mosley will be pinned by uh, Michael Collier. John Myers will be pinned by Alex Hoover. Derek Need will be pinned by Daniel Marshall. Susanna Rao will be pinned by Katie Lehman. <laughs> Emily Romans will be pinned by Lydia Wygant.
Elizabeth Skeen will be pinned by Tessa Batinsky. Macy Solly will be pinned by Emily McCarty. Caitlin Speakman will be pinned by Lindsay Nolan. Nicholas Burgess will be pinned by Hope Johnson. Benjamin Tobin will be pinned by Caleb Bailey. Tony Welch will be pinned by Clayton Christopher. Jacob Walker will be pinned by Caleb Bailey. Kayla Wright will be pinned by Alyssa Green. Liddy Yont will be pinned by Lauren Hassel. Carly Bush will be pinned by Hallie Hess. Lauren Edwards will be pinned by Hannah Peterson. Sandra Schugert will be pinned by Megan Kahn. Kaylee Folden will be pinned by Hannah Peterson.
Grant Furness will be pinned by Josh Hamill. Amanda Hamill will be pinned by Anna Kraft. Caleb Kandra will be pinned by Jeremy Hall. Addie Martin will be pinned by Nathan Sharp. Allison Starner will be pinned by Lauren Hassel. Please join me in congratulating the 2011 Fairfield Christian Academy National Honor Society. At this time, I'd like to present the 2011 National Junior Honor Society. Allison Albert will be pinned by Madison Doolittle. Austin Kuhlman will be pinned by Levi Bailey and James Hammer. Cynthia Collins will be pinned by Sydney Jones. Rachel Kurzan will be pinned by Leah Custer. Andrew Gurkin will be pinned by Ryan Stalter and Blake Barr. Bryce Long will be pinned by Payne Whistler.
Ryan McKnight will be pinned by Josh Martin. Carissa Need will be pinned by Mariah Huth. Harrison Poole will be pinned by Josiah Lockwood. Jaden Rowland will be pinned by K.J. DeWeese and Jordan Ward. <laughs> Abigail Smeltzer will be pinned by Caitlin Porter. Zachary Sterling will be pinned by Mackenzie Johnson. <laughs> Jacob Thompson will be pinned by Hannah Kumler and Kelsey Nafsker. Girls. Yeah. Meredith Young will be pinned by Mariah Huth and Sarah Shoemaker. Please join me in congratulating the 2011 National Junior Honor Society of Fairfield Christian Academy. Now to complete the official induction of our students into the National Honor Society, I would like to ask Anna Kraft, President and Vice President Alyssa Green to the podium. we would like the new members to stand at your seat and face the congregation to be sworn into the FCA chapter of the National Honor Society. Please raise your right hands as I read our charter pledge. I pledge to maintain my high scholastic standing. To hold as worthy an untarnished character. To endeavor <laughs> courageously to be the leader God enables me to be. And to give of myself freely in service to others. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of membership in the Fairfield Christian National Honor Society and National Junior Honor Society. If you agree with this pledge, please respond by saying, I do. Please join us again in congratulating our new members. <laughs> 
You may be seated. New and returning members alike, I would like to congratulate you for your diligence to excellence. Your diligence has proven itself honorable, and today is our chance to recognize your efforts. As you go forth from this day, continue to be excellent in academia, live with the utmost character, lead courageously, and serve wholeheartedly. On days when schoolwork piles high, remember what a gift knowledge is. When placed in situations where your character may be compromised, stand firmly in your beliefs. Stand your ground, even in murky waters. In chaos, lead with confidence and show those around you the beauty of leading with grace and humility. Never turn down an opportunity to serve your neighbor. Today, your neighbors are your classmates, and today you have the opportunity to serve. Illustrate service in everything that you do, but most importantly and above all else, love and serve God. You are a student of the kingdom. Study the word of God with zeal and enthusiasm. Hunger after God's word with great passion and seek Christ with great anticipation. I believe that you will do great things with great love. Know that this is about so much more than words of recommendation or letters on a report card. This is about living out a life of merit and diligence. Continue to strive for brilliance in all things, giving all glory and honor to Christ. When you continue to push forward and make every effort for excellence, you can rest assured that the best is yet to come. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Ralph and Mr. Garrett to come to the podium to introduce our new Math Honor Society and induct the 2011 inductees. Thank you. <clears throat> Candidates are being presented for initiation in Fairfield Christian Academy's chapter of Mu Alpha Theta, an international high school and two-year mathematics honor society. Mu Alpha Theta is an organization whose purpose is to stimulate interest in mathematics and provide public recognition of excellence in mathematics by promoting various math activities. It is co-sponsored by the Mathematics Association of America, the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, and the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, and the American Mathematic, Mathematical Association of Two-Year Colleges. Fairfield Christian Academy applied for charter this fall, and after a review by the Mu Alpha Theta Board, we were accepted. We are proud to initiate our first ever group of students into Mu Alpha Theta. It is an honor to be selected for membership in this organization, which has over 1,700 chapters spanning across the United States and some foreign countries. Fairfield Christian Academy is one of 37 schools in Ohio and the only school in Fairfield County to have a chapter of Mu Alpha Theta. Colleges and major universities recognize membership in Mu Alpha Theta as an important part of a student's academic resume. Each of the students being inducted today meet the requirements for membership. This includes work done with distinction in college preparatory mathematics and in other academic subjects. By meeting these requirements, they have demonstrated the qualities of industry, initiative, and reliability. The requirements for induction are as follows. Students must have completed Algebra I, Geometry, and Algebra II, and be currently enrolled in a mathematics course. They must have earned a cumulative GPA in their math courses of 3.5 or above. Eligible students must complete and submit an application to be reviewed by the math department and the guidance office based on the aforementioned criteria. As you see before you, hanging here to my left, this is a replica of the insignia of the Mu Alpha Theta. The blue represents truth as it is unlimited like the sky. Gold shines as a symbol that mathematics is indeed a valued treasure. The insignia represents above all a high point in the history of the world, an important relationship in mathematics, one that combines the mystery the challenge and the beauty of numbers, 
with a simple geometric figure, the right triangle. Members being inducted today uh, as seniors, you earn an additional privilege of wearing a Mu Alpha Theta honor cord. I have them draped around my neck. These cords will be presented to you at graduation. They represent your excellence in mathematics. They also have the same colors of blue and gold representing truth and treasure. Wear them proudly. Candidates, would you please come to the stage to accept your membership certificate as your name is called and remain on the stage until all the names are called. Katie Lehman. Isaac Lockwood. Andrew Lundell. Addie Martin. Kirsten Deweese. Tessa Patinsky. Michaela Bethel. Alex Carroll. Clayton Christopher. Michael Collier. Alex Durkin. Hallie Hess. Alex Hoover. Anastasia Huffman. Daniel Marshall. Lindsay Nolan. Alex. Hannah Peterson. Lauren Ralph. Taylor Truesdale. Did say Clark on it too? Taylor Truesdale, Clark. Okay. Lydia Wygett. <laughs> T 
Tony Welsh. Yeah. Caitlin Speakman. Jacob Walker. Stephen Carpenter. Austin Green. Maggie Arledge. Tiffany Campbell. Sarah Crum. Mrs. Ralph and I would like to now declare all of you officially members of Mu Alpha Theta. Congratulations. Later, later. Okay. Yeah. And at this time, would Hope Johnson please come forward to the podium? Lord, we come here to honor you for the wisdom and knowledge you have given us. Thank you for this school and the opportunity here. We ask for your blessing on this day as we celebrate the hard work of the new students entering NHS, NJHS, and Mu Alpha Theta. May you guide us as we continue to be led in your spirit in all ways. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen. All members of NHS, NJHS, and Mu Alpha Theta need to remain in the sanctuary for pictures after the student body is dismissed. At this time, the student body is dismissed to the ninth period class. Thank you.